CNOs or anything yeah. you'd like to add to this conversation? Uh, yeah, first of all, I want to thank all the sailors out there and the sound of my voice serving, uh, especially those at sea, uh, who have the watch tonight. But uh, as Admiral Moran said, you know, people, they make all the difference. There's so much going on today, and I'm thinking of it, you know, somebody with a pole spinning the plates, if you've ever seen the, the musician <laughs> or whoever doing that. So we have a lot going on, and people are getting it done. The pole that enables us to go from plate to plate and keep it spinning are our people. And that pole has been rigid. It's been there all the time. And we have to take, if you will, good care of it. So I want to give a shout out, really, to the Navy Personnel Command, the people in Millington. I have never served there, you know. And I've been on the other end of the phone, too, with the detailers saying, what were they thinking? <laughs> what the heck is going on down there? And then you go down there and you see the rules that we give them to work with. And it's not right. Mm -hmm. They are fighting a battle with on one leg and one arm behind their back sometimes. And they do pretty darn good work. So we're going we're gonna to bring them into, as, as Emma Moran said, you know, the 21st century and give them the right tools. Uh, and then we're going to have to, we got to move ahead into this next century, if you will, in the next decade. A lot of challenges, but the time is now to get this very, very important weapon system uh, right, the personnel management. So thanks for the opportunity to have this chat with CNP and I. Uh, we're on to something here I think is important. Admirals, thank you so much for joining us for another edition of Conversation with the Shipmate. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.